I got Alvarez out of the city. Good. He told me you saved his life. All I did was get him away from Marcano's men. And thank God for that. Let me ask you something. You ever hear how Sal Marcano wound up running this city? Him and his brothers killed a few guys and took over. He sold out his own father, Lincoln. Watched him die. And then he killed every man standing in his way. Butchered them. Them and anyone else he thought was a risk, warranted or not. How do you know that? Other oh, priests. The sanctity of the confessional isn't always absolute. I'm not an idiot, Lincoln. You're a criminal. Sammy was a criminal. I accepted that a long time ago. But there's a difference between being a criminal and being a Sal Marcano. I'm not Sal Marcano. Easy to say that now, but what about when this is over, when there's no one standing in your way? I haven't decided yet. You're a good man, Lincoln. I know it's odd to hear that, considering everything you've done. But it's true. You have it in you. I've seen it. But you're gonna have to decide, have to choose, whether you let all of this consume you, pervert you, turn you into the very thing you hate. hungry? Because I just ate. Then I guess I'm good. I could go for some ice cream later on. Yeah, sure, I'll keep that in mind. What's this all about? We're meeting a friend at a Cuban restaurant in the French ward, a place called Villa del Mar. I'll fill you in on the way. Let's go. This friend will meet you. Is it someone I know? No. Nah. Ex-company pal Robert Marshall. Has a line on an asshole we worked with before your time. Man by the name of Connor Aldridge. I remember the name. Two of you had some kind of falling out. Right? The fallout would suggest there was a time when we were in. You're dragging my ass around town because of it. Something had to go down. Look, all you need to know is that Aldridge is a traitor's cocksucker who got good men killed. And if he's in New Bordeaux, I promise you it's not for the booze and cheap blowjobs. Never is. You ever get a chance to meet up with that gal you kept going on about? The one with the ass? <laughs> well, they all got asses, but I assume you mean Regine. Regine, yeah, that's the one. So how about it? Nah. I mean, I saw a round. A little rusty behind the wheel, Link. The boys in blue want to have a word, Lincoln. Lose these 
cops now. All units, negative visual on suspect. Yeah. Anyway, nah. I mean, I saw around. Shit went off the rails. What about that girl who kept writing you? She seemed cool. Yeah, real cool. Right up until she went and got hitched to an accountant from New York City. Shit. Sorry, man. I had some friends of mine uh, run a report on him, pulled everything. Seems like a decent enough guy. You sir? <laughs> no. Too assed out. Fuck him. And fuck her too. Don't look, but we've got police incoming. Like I was saying, fuck him. And fuck her too. Thanks, buddy. the fuck is Marshall? Wait. Sorry to keep you ladies waiting. Robert Marshall. Johnny Boy and I work together at the company. Excuse me. You know, I gave you a shot to sit in the back seat and you didn't take it. Boom. Ungrateful fuck. <sighs> Sorry about that. Marshall here is one of New Bordeaux's finest bounty hunters. Is that a cattle prod? Works every time. Although it does create a hell of a mess when my skips shit themselves. Well, I keep that in mind. So what did you learn about Aldridge? Little Birdie told me he's been sniffing around our favorite Cuban bartender, Horatio Balmana. Balmana? Are you sure? Afraid so. If Aldridge is such a big deal, why is he exposing himself over a bartender? Therein lies the question, my dark-skinned compadre. Well, let's go. Looks like someone was intent on keeping folks inside. Let's get in there. Gee, God damn it. No more plantains for me. Hello? Anyone here? What kind of sick fuck shoots up a burger? They party. Aldridge doesn't see the world the way we do. There is no order, and there are no rules that he won't break. That's why I had to get away from him. And that life. Hey, you sure about Marshall? Man seems kind of tilted. Tilted? Nah, he's good. Hey, this uh, fellow down here is still alive. Oh, wait, no, that's, uh, that's brain. Hey, this fellow down here has got his brains and his frijoles. Okay, yeah. So maybe he's a little off. 
Amana could... Over there. God damn. Meet Horatio Balmana. <sighs> Shit. Really? What? It's an Upman. Balmana was a pilot in the Cuban Revolutionary Armed Forces. Back in November 62, the Navy found him and a couple of his pals floating in the Gulf, and they brought him in. Which is where you come in, I suppose. I was already in Nam, but I heard about it. Almana spilled everything he knew about Castro. We planted a news story about the crew being found dead. And that poor bastard ended up here, tending bar. The way this hand's cut up, Aldridge knows what he's doing. He was trying to get Balmana to talk. You all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah! I got him. Oh. Try not to kill this one, Lincoln. Don't let that cocksucker get away. Not a chance. Goddamn hold up. Motherfuckers, why? Do the best I can here. Get the fuck out of here. We got some questions for you. All right, let's go. Don't kill me. Why the fuck you running? Have you seen you? Fair point. <laughs> Come on. I got someone who wants to talk to you. It's damn good bourbon, huh? Oh, is that an upman you're smoking? Goddamn right it is. <laughs> Moving up in the world. <clears throat> uh, who the fuck are you guys? Uh, 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 uh. What's your name? Fernando. La gente me llama. Huh? People call me Chucky. You let people call you Chucky? <laughs> Why would you? You don't forget it. There's a dead man upstairs named Balmana. Yes, yeah, so? So the man we're after is the one who shot the living shit out of this place. What's that got to do with me? You're not too bright, are you, Chucky? Oh, fuck! You're the sole survivor of a goddamn massacre. That's what it's got to do with you. So, tell us what you heard. All right, all right. Dami, the man who came in here he was asking about a how. A how? Uh, what house? I, I don't know. Balmana refused to say anything, and then he started screaming. And then he gave him a name. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Say it again, so I can hear it. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Jesus Christ. And that was oh! it. He, he, he told another man he was with that they need to get the crew to the plane as quickly as possible. That's everything I hear. Oh, my mother. <laughs> mean anything to you. Pedro Pond's a code name for a CIA safe house here in the city. Can you keep our pal here on ice back at your place? Sure thing. All right, let's go check out your new digs, princess. Oh. <laughs> Two of you find yourselves in need of sniper support. Hit me up on the radio. Adios, Chucky. Oh. Stand up.
Send a new ride to the French War. Aye. I'll get her out to you right away. Four wheels and an engine. Appreciate it. No telling what Aldridge is after. The Pedro Pan safe house is located in an old distillery in the southwest corner of the bayou. All right. Let's go. of that restaurant, Aldrich had some well-trained men working with him. No surprise. Cocksucker was always partial to freelancers. Never could see the appeal of using mercenaries myself. Didn't see you complaining when that Noong MSF battalion saved our asses last year. Some mean motherfuckers. Lucky they were on our side. <laughs> Mercs aren't exactly known for being cuddly. Local PD isn't looking too happy. So what was I saying? Oh, right. <laughs> Mercs aren't exactly known for being cuddly. Wouldn't last long if they were. I left my cigarettes back at the restaurant. Brother, you need to get yourself some love. Your ass is wound tight. Well, that may be true. The only thing unwinding my ass is a bullet in that motherfucker's head. All right, talk to me. Why the fuck you got such a hard on for this cat? And don't give me any of that traitorous fuck shit. Because while all that may be true, there's something else here. You and me, we've been through a lot of shit together. Shit no one else knows about. Oh, the things we've had to do for our cut. Oh, fuck. You, man, don't give me the God and country speech. Save that for the goddamn brunt. My point, Lincoln, is that we share a lot of secrets between us, but we also have a lot to keep to ourselves. Never ask the other. This one stays with me. At least for now. Shit. All right. Fuck it. But I ain't promising to let this go for good. Fine. Safe house should be coming up. same defiant motherfucker whose brains are gonna rain down on this earth? No. Good. Now let's go. Then let's go stop.
heard something I don't like. Was ein Novakfire! Ist das ein Mailroom da? Ja, na well. If you come across any nasty I ain't scared of you. Eyes up. Mr. Aldridge wants this area locked down. Hey, sir.
Fucking smart mouth cocksucker. You just made it harder on yourself, pal. Uh, ain't getting shit from me. Guess we'll see about that. Check every corner, hole, cranny, whatever the fuck else. And if you come across any nasty motherfuckers, you put a bullet in the Taking the shot. Head. Now double time that shit. Why Make my exit. exit. I'm taking cover. Gonna split. Good luck. Why the CIA needs a compound like this in New Bordeaux? Data sorting, signal traffic decoding, off of the Southeast United States and the Caribbean. We're snooping on our enemies and our friends. It's the friends who fuck you the worst. You gotta stand strong. Oh, it's easy for him to say when he's out there, right? <sighs> Show me where the safe is before I blow your fucking head right, off. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, you fucking coward! He's gonna kill you regardless. Out of way. How's the hand? How's the face? <sighs> Tell me. Who's your colorful friend? I'm the motherfucker who's gonna shove his colorful foot up your ass. Oh, I like him, Johnny. He's a keeper. Just take what you want and go. Jackpot. Fuck! Now what? I'll tell you now what. 
Come here. What? Oh, just get up. Ah. Ah. So long, Johnny. You fucking bastard. I'm gonna fucking kill you, Aldridge. Maybe. Maybe not. Fuck! We got company. I'm gonna personally put each one of you in the fucking ground. Come help me! I ain't scared of you. was after there's got to be a key card around here somewhere check the desks the bodies everywhere Locating the key card? Found the car. here and get this door open. God damn it! What'd he take? Surveillance photos, satellite imagery, and asset files from anyone who's come into the country from Cuba over the last 10 years. Fuck! What the hell is this guy after? You know something. I've had my suspicions ever since Chucky said he overheard Aldridge talking about a plane. Balmana and his crew were piloting a plane out of Havana, but they weren't looking to defect. They were returning something that didn't belong to them. The CIA codenamed the incident Dvachka, which in Russian means little girl or commie princess or some goddamn thing. Anyway, the plane's cargo was part of a Russian R-12 theater ballistic missile. Which part are we talking about? The thermonuclear warhead part. Well, this shit just got a hell of a lot more interesting. A storm took the plane down mid-flight. Balmana and his crew bailed. After 12 months of searching, the CIA considered Dvachka lost at sea. Nothing to be done about it. Unless it wasn't lost at sea. Unless, right, unless it wasn't. If Aldridge gets his hands on this, there's no telling what he'll do. All right. So if Aldridge took the files and surveillance photos to track this thing down, then we need another way to find it. What about Balmana's crew? If we could track down another one of the assholes that was on that flight, they may be able to tell us what we need to know. The mainframe's connected to a network that should allow us to patch in and access Balmana's files. We got it. It was a four-man crew on the plane. Uh-huh. Two of them managed to make it back to Havana. But Balmana and a man by the name of Ruben Paez came to the States. Where's Paez now? Looks like the CIA got him a job as a janitor at a department store. In Frisco Fields. There's no way Aldridge leaves a loose end like that kicking around. The poor bastard's on his way out, he doesn't even know it. 
Then I guess we better get to Piaz before Aldrich does. This man, Connor Aldrich. When did you first meet him? June, 1954. We went into Guatemala as part of PB Success, and then we went our separate ways and ran into each other again in Vietnam. Well, according to these reports, uh, Mr. Aldrich was very successful in infiltrating the NBA. So successful, in fact, he cultivated several contacts that became double agents. That's one way of putting it. And how would you put it? Let's just say you shouldn't believe everything you read. I can type up some bullshit on fancy letterhead. Doesn't change the fact that it's bullshit. Mr. Donovan, did you or did you not have contact with Connor Aldridge in the summer of 1968 in New Bordeaux? That cocksucker died in an alleyway in Saigon. I'm done talking about him. I need to call this in to Langley. Meet me in the French ward, and we'll track down Pius. I need a supply run out to the French ward. Coming at you. Hang tight. Aldrich's men are on their way with you. You want something? You let Show me know. know what you got. You... My guys picked up chatter on the wire. A crew of Aldridge's men are moving towards Paez as we speak. Think you can get us there ahead of them? I'm up for trying. Good. Let's go. The department store Paez works out of is up in Frisco Fields. A place called Wash Rose. Yeah, I've heard of it. We'll be there before you know it. 
How exactly does an old money shop like Westrose end up employing a Cuban exile worker for the CIA? Old money comes with a lot of old secrets. And 10,000 taxpayer dollars each month. You motherfuckers call me a criminal. Come on! Come on! My grandmother can drive faster than this. Well, let's go get the old bag and see what she can do. There's Washro. The sign of Aldridge's murks. This hour, Paya should be on duty with the rest of the janitorial staff. Let's get in there and find him. We're closed. Motherfucker, do we look like we're here to buy a goddamn blender? Paya's. Where is he? Look. Last time I saw him, he was on the third floor. Thanks, buddy. Oh, and you and your crew who want to keep breathing should clear out. There's some real assholes on their way here. Some of this shit costs more than I take home in a year. Yeah, but you spend it on cheap booze and loose women. The booze is never cheap. Get out of here. Cops are on their way. They know about you. Oh, shit! Thanks! You buy it? Depends. Who the fuck is asking? The motherfuckers who are trying to keep your ass alive. We need to move. Now. Going in quiet. Friends? Somebody do something! Shoot him! Stop! Going loud! Man down! about you, a bunch of your Cubano pals, and one goddamn new. Oh, and I can assume that they want me dead and you want me alive. You most certainly can, brother.
I blast your ass now. That's where to go. Let us handle the shooting from here on out. <laughs> hey, no argument for me. Gentlemen, I think we found our ride out of here. Pius, you're riding shotgun. Lincoln. I'm on it. Read my mind. Donovan, you got coaching. I see that. Lay down the fire. Don't stop now. My ass is looking worse. Deal with those first so we can get him to market. Doctor now. Make me replace this uniform. Eso cabrones. Coño. We need to get him inside. Hold on, buddy. We brought you a live one. Yeah, I can see that. Jesus Christ, what the fuck happened to you guys? One of Aldridge's men clipped him. Oh, God, I don't want to die. You're not going to die. Tell me your name. Ruben. Ruben, well... Lucky for you, I've had my fair share of battlefield ah! Do you know what that means? No. It means you're gonna be just fine. Uh, Looks like the bullet went clean through. All right, move your hand. This is gonna hurt. Ah! Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, your plane. Where is it? There was a storm. Yeah, we know about the storm. Where'd you go down? Last readings was uh, 22.5 degree latitude and 87.9 uh, 87, 87 degree longitude. Where the fuck were you heading west? After that shit with, with Kennedy, Khrushchev told Fidel to return the warhead. He didn't want to send with the disassembled missiles, so we arranged to meet the Russians. Uh, at an airstrip uh, outside of Mexico City. 
Perfect. Thanks, Paez. I gargle into madre. Huh? Sure. Look, I'm gonna get us a boat. You meet me when you're ready. You got this? Yeah, go on. Get your boy here patched up and out of town. Hey, hey! Oh, you bastard. Boats fueled, our course charted. Ready when you are, Captain. Right then. Let's go get that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> 